to, uh, yeah, I can't spell. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Hey everyone, this is a tutorial on how to install the Aliens Killing Floor mod for your dedicated servers in Killing Floor. It's pretty simple. Um, try to make this as easy as possible. Uh, I'll go into depth about some things. Not really, but we'll see. Okay, so first off, you're going to need a couple files. All of these files are easily obtainable and they're going to be in our my description down at the bottom. First, you'll need to go and get the Steam CMD, which is right here, and the aliens release.zip, both of which will be in the description. Go ahead and unpack Steam CMD into its own directory. It'll just be one file, it's not going to be all of these, it's just going to be Steam CMD. It's like HLDS update tool if you've ever used that, but HLDS update tool is depreciated and is no longer maintained. So now Valve uses this instead. So what you're going to do is you're just going to make a quick batch file or just plug this whole line straight into a command prompt um, wherever your Steam CMD while while you're in the directory of your Steam CMD. So it's just really simple and this directory right here is to be changed um, depending on where you'd like your killing floor server to be located um, I like it on my desktop so it's on my desktop um, it could be wherever you like C drive D drive if you have multiple drives um, yeah wherever and then the app update that is the update code for the actual server itself and exit to close. Username and password, no quotes, no brackets, no parentheses, no tilde, well if you have a tilde in your username, if you have any of that, no surrounding characters, just straight in, space in the middle. Very easy. Okay, you can just run that, it'll pop up a black, it'll pop up a command prompt window and it will update your steam directory to have all of this fun stuff in it and then it will install your server files if it asks you for a steam guard code that's alright just go ahead and go to your email and type that in um, and it'll continue chugging along okay once you have your server completely downloaded from steam uh, go ahead and open it up you'll see you'll see all these fun little files and this guy right here but that's that steam stuff you can leave it um, you met you're probably not gonna see saves um, and I don't think you're gonna see web either. no wait yes you are okay you're not gonna see saves but if you open up your aliens release zip that's where the saves comes in right here what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag and drop each folder into the white space underneath Yes, you'd like to merge it, and for all of the conflicts, move and replace, um, and do it twice, just to make sure. You do it for all the files except for the README. You don't need to. You don't need to put that in there unless you want to read the README. That's kind of why you're watching this video tutorial. <laughs> so, um, once you have them all in there, you can go ahead and close the two out. And then go ahead and go into Steam, and then with the Steam, go ahead and subscribe to Aliens Killing Floor here. I'm all um I am already subscribed. This has a, this has all of the mute says all of the mutators for the client side, and it also has uh, a couple maps that we're also going to put in there uh, manually. So once you have all that downloaded, you're going to get the two maps that are gonna get the two maps that you've downloaded through the Steam community and just plop them in there. It's gonna be Atmosphere Processor and Hadley's Hallway. So you just drop them right in your maps folder, right in there. Copy and replace. Do it twice just to make sure because I'm paranoid and then you're good. And then the last thing you're gonna do is create one more batch file and that is to start your server. This line will be in a pastebin link down in the description and it's gonna be just the whole thing start is on one line pause is on another we open this up in a 
better editor so you can see that is a whole line of code script rather um, we need that in its own line and then pause right underneath of it so in case something fails it's going to tell you what your error is and then you're going to hit enter in order to close the window so if anything goes wrong you will see an error or two in there um, right there the package missing texture package that's fine you might fail to load a couple files but that's completely okay um, as soon as you see sending updated server details um, you're good you're brilliant um, that's all you need go ahead and connect in through killing floor um, for you it's gonna be in the console open space 127.0.0.1 for the person who has the server on their computer for everyone else it's gonna be your external IP address which you can get it what's my what is my IP dot com or just googling or just googling what's my IP thanks for watching hope this helps you if you need any more help just go ahead and write in the comments I'll try to help you out as best as I can and <clears throat> this has been Ice Cold Slurpee from the Space Pirates helping you out on how to install Aliens Killing Floor mod for your dedicated servers thanks guys